Hey everybody, Barry here again. Got the engine running last night. Not very well, because I kind of mixed up the tune a little bit, which is not really a big deal. It's just another thing that you kind of overlook sometimes. So today I'm gonna make a point and try to make it run well. I couldn't really rev it any sense. Like when I cracked the throttle, it'd want to shut off and that would be due to it putting in like 30% of the fuel it actually wanted. So it's a little bit lean. Here's what I ended up having to do in order to make it run because my harness for whatever reason would not work. So here's our orange wires. They go to ignition. All of our pink wires into one. And I hooked that up up to here because that's our constant hot. These here I touched to the battery and when I want it to shut off, just disconnect. Fuel pump worked out really well. I had a small oil leak, but I'm not concerned because it was an old oil pan gasket. I didn't even clean up the oil pan because I'm not planning on using it. So it's not a big deal. So let's go put a tune in it, haul the PCM out of the Cadillac and plug it into this and let's try it again. So we're pretty much ready to fire. PCM is plugged in. I just got to put the gas hoses in the tank. I went ahead and put a push rod through here and bent the piss out of it so it would stay in there because yesterday I almost tipped the engine over. Let's go ahead and try it. You ready? Go for it. Are you too loud? Oh, come on. <laughs> oh my god. You want to start again? Yep. I doubled up the fuel hoses last night so I wouldn't leak and now kick it over. <laughs> Derby car certified. This is Derby car certified. Let's see if we can see some clues. Oh, for sure. Be careful. That's so exciting. That's nice. Big angel on the stand. Why are you sticking with it? This is how much torque it has. It cut off a push rod. Wow. I'm actually shaking. I'm, I'm going to put a bolt in it because this is what it did to a push rod. Ugh. And then I will split the engine over again. Here's our piece of push rod. Okay, is it gonna cut off a grade five bolt? Probably. Does it have a lot of torque? Absolutely. Let's try it again. Cass, if I blow this engine up, I'm having too much fun. I'm sorry. This is exactly 
exactly what I was hoping for last night. Did you see the fire? It was like a foot long. I'm gonna throw up. This is amazing. Oh. So the engine runs. I just have to get the rear end ready. And then we're good to go with the van. Just gotta put in the side axles, the diff unit, and new side axle bearings and seals. I found out today that the limited slip unit that I've been waiting on isn't actually gonna fit because it's got 28 spline gears. My axles are 31 spline. So um, I'm gonna wait and see if I can get another one. If not, I'll be welding it, I don't care. I'm not having one tire spinning because that really gets on my nerves. So let's go ahead and assemble this as an open diff just so when I do get the van here, at least it'll be a roller. And then later on, I can just, you know, put the limited slip in, it's not a big deal. So let's continue on. Well, I'm at the diff and I was like, those rotors look really, really big. And then I realized that I don't think these wheels are gonna fit with the brakes. Pretty tight to try to get a caliper in there. So I went ahead and took these off. These are the wheels that came off of that rear end. So they're gonna work fine. Let's do a comparison. So I already know that these are, I think four in this way. Here, we're gonna hook that one in the hub. We have four inches. So that's good. We're kind of harder here, but get an idea anyway. And that one is uh, three and a half, four inches. So they're absolutely not as cool as those. Plus they're 16, so I can't use my slicks on them. But, well, it's something. These are like the ugliest rims ever made. So, I guess it'll suit the van perfect because who likes a caravan? So who expects it to have really cool wheels on it? Who expects it to have a turbo LS manual transition and rear wheel drive also, I guess. So we're, we're opening a lot of doors here. <laughs> While I'm here, I'm also gonna change out this pin. You can see that it's rounded off pretty good. Plus these are commonly known to break and then spit out the pin here and destroy everything. So I've got a new one. This is a Dorman 81048. run into a little bit of contrariness with this race. So it's stuck into the housing really, really good. I don't have a slide hammer, so usually I nip voice grips onto this hook thing and just pound into the voice grips and it comes right out, no problem. So we're gonna have to bring out the big guns, which is the welder. Normally what I like to do is run a bead on the inside of the race, right in here. Not on the outer part of the housing, obviously, just in the middle of the race. Not on really high heat, because what we're looking for it to do is just shrink that race just a little bit. If we can get it to shrink a couple thousands, it pops right out easily. I've done it piles of times and uh, it's proven. So let's try it, see what happens. This is burning gear oil and it's not really good for you, so have a fan on. When you get smoke that's yellow like that, 
that's a lung killer. You'll have to excuse the fan for a second there, but we can see that I got it welded. It is gross looking. It's just flux core and, you know, I got to turn on low heat. We're not trying to weld anything. We're just trying to make heat. Let's see what we got. Look at that. Here we go. It's still hot, but we can see it came right out. I'm gonna keep the all the time lapse footage of me whacking on this and going with the sawzall trying to get it out. And you saw like two smacks and it's out. And our other side is out. That one was a little bit extra tight. I had to lay a little more welding down. This thing is ready for bearings and seals and then stab side axles in. But my wife just called and said supper's ready and I'm not keeping her waiting. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a good night.